So what am I doing here today at school? Well, I brought my camera to school today. As a matter of fact, I study in aviation if you haven't figured that out yet. I don't study car mechanic, I study aircraft mechanic. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of vlogception right now. Check it out, check out what's behind me here. We got a second World War DC-3 1944 plane and the guys from Ice Pilots are, are restoring it to uh, fly it out of here June 6th. Actually, June 7th, they're flying it out of here. And uh, we got Mikey McBrien and uh, Ronnie back there going hard at it. But today, it's not about that. If you want to go watch that, you can go watch Plane Savers. Thank you for all uh, 51 subscribers that are out there right now. And I'm going to take you for a rock around of, uh, of school, the tarmac, and what I've been up to today. Obviously, I got my high viz because I'm going outside. Whew, door's a little heavy. Well, I'm about to fly in one of those. I'm gonna go steal some uh, vlog section here. Go bother Mikey a little bit. He knows who I am at this point. How's it going along? I brought my own camera and microphone set up today. So I'm coming to steal some of your, uh, some of your hard work. It's okay, I only have 51 subscribers, so. Barely anybody will see this. Hi, how's it going? Going good? You don't want to talk to me? You don't have to talk to me. She doesn't want to talk to me. She's giving me the whole cold shoulder. I'm gonna have to turn the camera off for her to say hi, I think. I'm not paying her enough. <laughs> I'm not paying her at all. Stella didn't want to talk to me, so maybe you'll talk to me with the camera on. Mikey, Mikey once again, hard at work every day he uploads and every day he's sitting here Editing hard away all the shenanigans that goes around in the hangar. Uh, sh hard work, not or, shenanigans. Plane savers. Plane savers. Oh, wow. Okay, you've been modified. That looks good. That looks amazing. <laughs> that looks amazing. So you got an actual logo plate now, which is huh? great because the paper was getting aged, right? It had experience. Oh, no, he's look, look at your setup we got going on. So I have an old camera with a really good mic. He's got a really, really good camera with a basic mic. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the Amazon special mic. <laughs> well, this was an Amazon special too. Oh, it, was, yeah. it was cheap, but um, it was the same. But I can't afford the, the adapter that he has yeah, the for the Hero 5. The Hero there, the, one of the original heroes. Oh, and you got the 5. I got the 5, yeah. Is, uh, you got to buy this actual little adapter thing. It's like 60, 80 bucks, depending on. And then you have to buy the mic on top of that. Yeah. And this is just like a synthesizer or whatever, it's like 30 bucks. Yeah. Are you going to upload tonight? I'm going to try. Um, yeah. I'll send you an email the day I upload it. Okay. <laughs> and I'll send you a link if I have to. Right on. <laughs> you got to cut that dead cat down a bit. No, well, like trim it? Yeah. But I, sometimes I just put a rubber band and like angle it out of the way. Oh yeah? So it still picks up the sound good. Obviously it picks up you more than me right now. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, seeing it is not that big of a deal. It gives the viewer something steady to look at. <laughs> it gives them the idea of the wind. Yeah, so you know, if you're getting sick, all you gotta do is stare at the dead cat if I don't have steady hand enough. So yeah, these guys are hard at work in the DC-3 and I might come join them later on. Get we'll see what with, happens. Get down with the editing, man. Get it out tonight. I haven't uploaded in two years. Two so years. the viewers are getting a treat tonight if they are getting a treat. <laughs> I haven't uploaded in two years. And he uploads every day, so I got, I got a thing to learn about Mikey over here. Work harder. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna keep touring the school and uh, nobody's gonna know about it other than you and me. So obviously there's a DC-3 behind me, and this is one, one airplane hangar. Some of the planes that are outside usually go in this hangar, and we're coming into A-22. Oh. Final exams in A-22. I can't go in there, there's final exams, so yeah, no, no go for the final exam room. <laughs> but you know, we'll, we'll keep touring around the helicopter hangar. So what's amazing at school is that we have a lot of running helicopters. Um, this one runs. That one runs. This one runs. The 105 behind me could run. It's a two engine aircraft, so it does burn a little bit more gas. Um, and now we're gonna go outside, check out uh, the helicopter takeoff that I'm about to ride in. Hopefully this mic picks up the sound much better. So uh, excuse the, the voiceover for this section. Obviously, uh, in the helicopter, there was a lot of noise and I couldn't get the voice recording for it to work. So, uh, as you approach a helicopter, it's always uh, important to keep your head down. And what is the purpose of uh, riding a helicopter in school? Well, it's not just for fun. 
Uh, the whole point of the activity is obviously to check blade tracking. Now, uh, blade tracking is uh, super important because that's when you know if your rotor is dynamically stable. Therefore, if all your blades are at the same level at a given RPM. So as you see here, I finally got the camera set up. I'm already strapped in at this point. Yes, you get a four point harness in a helicopter. And uh, you're gonna see it's quite necessary later on as the flight progresses. You can see I'm holding uh, equipment in my hand. In my right hand, you see that like black box with a with a, a, a kind of a gun handle looking on it, and that's a strobe light. And so, how do you find out blade tracking? Well, you point the strobe light towards the blade tip. Now, with the camera, it's easy to see the blade tip because of the shutter speed and whatnot. But in real life, the blade tip is actually very hard to see. So. Here the pilot is briefing me about the points and how the blades are identified. One blade is identified with horizontal tape, one blade is identified with a vertical tape, and one blade is identified with an oblique tape. That way you know which blade is which and which one is out of whack or out of position. Uh, he's telling me to take my sunglasses off because it will get hard to see the, the marks on the blade tip with my sunglasses on. And uh, he's telling me approximately where to aim and you know what technique to use to uh, find my blade tip. So you're going to see me hold the gun up right now and, uh, and, and try and aim for the blade tip. And, you know, I'm not too sure where to look, so I'm just trying to figure it out and just trying to look. And, oh, and it's not too long before I find it out and everything is going fine. And uh, given the RPM that right now we're sitting on the ground, we're at idle, the rotor is not as max speed. So all three marks are overlapping one another, which is great because that means, you know, at idle, you're already you're already got your three blades at the right spot. So now we're, we're revving up and he's, he's giving me a flight brief and uh, he's telling me to enjoy the flight once I'm done looking at my, uh, my rotor balancing. So as we leave the ground, I put the, I put the gun up to see the marks start to separate. The marks uh, start to come apart and you're gonna have one that's further to the left, one in the center and one further to the right. And they, you want them all to be on the same plane and all be leveled together. Um, now he's getting lined up and he's asking for clearance from the from the control tower. Obviously, I'm all smiles in the passenger seat and I'm really glad the super view is working out. Give it a thumbs up for the camera and here we go. This is insane. In the camera, it doesn't really do justice, but we are facing the ground at this moment. We are really aggressive and I'm having a great time. I wish I had the cockpit voice recording of, uh, of all the fun stuff instead of having to narrate it myself. And here, we're, I'm not supposed to take the reading at this point, but I took it anyways because we were moving pretty fast and when you're close to the ground like that, you actually have a sensation of speed. As we start to rise like that, we don't really feel a sensation of speed. And this is when the pilot starts to really pull on the collective at a certain point and I really sink into the seat. It feels, it feels really funny uh, riding in a helicopter like this. But I'm taking my reading at this point and everything's going fine. I can see the three blades are all good, all okay. and. He's, uh, he's telling me, uh, feel free to put the gun down and uh, enjoy the flight. And obviously this isn't a long flight, so uh, the video won't be too long. But uh, this is the interesting part. So put it down and have a good time. So at this point, we're really not far off the airport. And uh, we're kind of still in the airport zone, so we can't just go wherever we want. There are flight paths that we have to respect. Um, and uh, he knows that, I, I obviously I don't, so I'm asking about it and uh, he says, yeah, we kind of have a little bit of a flight path and a flight zone. Uh, what we're pointing at is that there was a guy with a helicopter that lived out in the field and uh, when you drive by, you would see, you would see his helicopter. Um, and uh, maybe, maybe I'll include some, some phone clips in here, but uh, when is he gonna get to do his turn? If he can get to a turn, it would be great. So we just uh, skipped ahead a little bit here and uh, to the point where he's going he's gonna to explain to me how he's going to do a turn. We're getting out of the airport zone a little bit so maybe he'll be able to get a more aggressive turn. And um, At this point he's actually lowered the altitude a little bit because losing altitude increases his airspeed and uh, he, he starts to go for his maneuver. And it's insane because you're going to see me be a chicken on this one. So he's pulling up. This is awesome. And then you see chicken wire over here grabbing the side of the window seal. But in fact, the way he turns is the way any pilot turns, and he's making sure the G-forces stay very linear inside the cockpit, therefore it goes straight down your body and not sideways. So there's no reason for me to grab that window, it's just maybe a reflex of, uh, of, of chicken wire grabbing. But as you can tell, that turn was very aggressive uh, sideways. It actually felt like we were more than, than 90 degrees sideways, but um, 
it was it was quite amazing. He said it was all smiles and really excited and you know, being in this glass bubble that, that rotates in the air is insane. So the flight is uh, coming to an end. We're pulling back up at school and uh, I'm being a white girl with my cell phone, getting a couple clips that I, I'll probably show uh, in a couple moments here. You can see all our planes lined up outside there. And when you get low to the ground and he, he does these turns, it's, it's really cool. As you can tell, you know, we're, we're moving quite quite fast and quite close to the ground. It's, it's a lot of fun. And um, that's when the flight gets really interesting because up high, honestly, there, you don't feel like you're going very fast or, or things are moving around you. And uh, we're coming, we're coming down to the helipad for a nice, clean touchdown. And um, that was another amazing flight. This pilot has done nine students of flying that day, so everybody gets a flight as long as I did, and uh, you get your chance. And it's it's one of the one of the little candies you get when you when you finish your program at uh, at Ecole Nationale Technique, where, uh, where I go to school. And, uh, Wish a good day to the pilot and uh, on my way out. Make sure you keep your head down when you're walking out. Insane! Insane! It's not like a plane at all. A plane's like a flying car. For the même sensation. Insane. That was awesome. So this is how you vlog. You walk around with your camera and you talk to it. One of my teachers, Sergio. I get to shake his hand. Because I'm done helicopters now. I, I am got my happy. final grade. I'm so happy. He's so happy to be Woo! rid of me. <laughs> His best student. Kind of. I'm going to go for a walk on the tarmac now. So, welcome to the tarmac of St. Hubert Airport uh, at my school. We have um, authorization to be here. I don't have a RAIC on me, but I am allowed to be where I am and I know where the limits are. And today, well, because of the... DC-3 in the hangar, that second world war plane. All the planes are outside, check this out. We got the Cirrus behind me, Cessna 172, Piper Aztec, Cessna 170, another 172 with no engine, a 337, a King Air 90, a Learjet 36, and a C-Series. Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, obviously, it's a little long coming in at 12 to 13 minutes, um, but I've had so much fun filming this. Uh, my upload quality needs to upgrade. I've been practicing a lot, but this, that, and the other. Uh, been busy. Obviously, it's been two years since my last upload, so my upload quality might not be getting that much better but it needs to uh, be getting better. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I for sure enjoyed it. Um, being able to film a helicopter flight is my first time on a helicopter. So, you know, even though it's only eight minutes, I had an incredible amount of fun, as you can tell by the smiles in the, in the chopper. Now, um, I'm graduating school, which is amazing. So hopefully, if you're ever interested in coming to Ica Nacional Technique, you can apply. Uh, this is a CJEP. You graduate and, you know, the jobs are huge right now. Today is actually Tuesday, May 14th, uh, and this was filmed yesterday, and I wish I filmed more meat roll of the aircraft at school and whatnot, because we do have about $85 million worth of aircraft at school, without counting the brand new C-Series FTV3 Gremlins, the third C-Series off the production line that was donated to our school for training purposes. Now, I'm going to thank you for watching. I'm going to thank the guys from Plane Savers. Feel free to go check out Plane Savers at YouTube. You'll see me maybe in a couple episodes working on the DC-3. Uh, had an amazing time with them. Always a pleasure talking with uh, with Mikey and Ronnie and the whole team at the Plane Savers. So uh, thank you for tuning in. Have a great evening. And hopefully it won't be that long until the next upload. Maybe I'll make a compilation of all my Snapchats I've taken at school because I've got a lot of fun school footage uh, in my Snapchat saved memories. So thank you for tuning in. Have a great evening. Until next time.